Hello every single one of you and welcome in today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you a huge secret which is hidden knowledge about trading which 99.9% .9 of the traders are not aware of. They don't even think about this and I got this knowledge guys from one of the best traders out there. And it's very interesting guys and the secret that I'm going to reveal in today's video is going to be so mind-blowing you probably haven't even think about it before and I'm going to use a example in my explanation and how to explain what I basically how I want to I need some example to explain my story to to make it more understandable for you because if you have true wisdom true insights sometimes only talking world or words doesn't really receive right so if you don't understand anything just drop a comment down below ask me a question and we'll get into that guys and the big secret of today's video is of course that tupac is still alive i think i know who killed tupac no jokes aside guys the big secret is about breakouts in trading and i'm going to do something we have two glasses right here i have for you i have one can of dr pepper I used to love this drink when I was younger. Uh, the last years, I'm not really drinking sodas anymore. I'm drinking every single day raw milk. That is my new diet and I love it. But back when I was a kid, I used to drink this like crazy. Cola and Dr. Pep, I could drink all the time. So let's open this can up. And let me divide this can, guys, over these two glasses. So we get some Dr. Pep into this glass. We get some Dr. Pepper into this class and let's check if we can make this that it's roughly the same, right? Yes, yeah, so it's roughly the same. It should represent the same thing. So this glass on the left hand should represent the bias in the market and on the right hand, it should represent the sellers of the market. And now we are going to go to the first example let's say bitcoin is breaking out right from a structure we have been consolidating in for let's say three or four weeks maybe one month maybe two months you know this with bitcoin it's correcting couple of weeks couple of months and then we have a breakout right if that breakout comes along with positive news the breakout is actually less sustainable and why is that most people don't think about this. Why is a breakout less sustainable when there is positive news involved? Well, guys, we have to go back to the essential of the fundamentals of the market. The market exists of market participants and market participants are either buyers or are either sellers. And the buyers in this case, they already bought and the sellers in this case already sold right so so right now it's actually quite it's quite divided it's 50 50 which makes it very difficult to predict the markets because markets generally are not really 50 50 right we have that tipping point of course and next to that is going to be these buyers and sellers they need to get convinced right you need to convince the sellers to buy and you need to convince the buyers to sell right so if we have positive news in the mainstream media then most uh, let me let me think if I say this correctly most buyers they will already buy so that means that the ones who has been in a short position with positive news closing their short positions and eventually they are in a long position so because there is positive news it brings the awareness to most marketers market participants which convinces them to buy which means that if you see positive news everyone is already aware of that positive news and everyone is already positioned and then what do we have left we only have people left that are in a contract that are in a position so there is no new liquidity left so that's why it's often people think like hey but it, things should go up things should be bullish right and then the price goes down yeah that's exactly how it went with the stock to flow model right the moment the stock to flow model was announced in the mainstream media as a accurate 
prediction model that was the top of bitcoin at 64,000 us dollars because think about this guys it's very logical you have the stock to flow which is basically a model predicting the price of bitcoin it has been very accurate in the past it's not accurate anymore right now it has been accurate in the past until the moment it got published on mainstream media because once it's published on mainstream media it means that 100 percent of the market participants everyone who is in crypto in bitcoin is aware of this model and this model convinced the buyers to buy bitcoin so once it hit mainstream media everyone was aware of it everyone was already positioned anticipating that 100k us dollar for bitcoin because of that model and that never came because the tipping point already reached the amount of buyers already was a hundred percent that's also why if bitcoin let's say we we have right now we have like mostly sellers most people are bearish on bitcoin that is the opposite right let's say most people are bearish on bitcoin that is the that is the right hand right here so they are in a short position or they sold their bitcoin for stables they are not in the markets because they are sellers they are bearish then if the majority is bearish we have this amount of liquidity that potentially can enter the market because the strong hands will be the buyers and the buyers are in the minority which means that the liquidity is definitely on the buying side because if everyone would already bought bitcoin and is bullish on bitcoin there is no liquidity to get that price higher that's why contrarians in the markets are already are always rewarded so good and this is a uh, this is an insight that i got after studying the markets a very long time but it it made me even more mind-blowing when i heard one of the most famous traders saying that if you have a breakout on positive news it is less sustainable because everyone is already aware of that positive news and therefore already positioned so there is more liquidity for bitcoin to leave the markets and to be sold while if bitcoin is breaking out in the like and no one is expecting it right then we have a lot of sellers in the market while bitcoin is breaking out with that low liquidity we have right here and we have a lot of liquidity to enter the markets and also often guys once bitcoin is breaking out you gotta imagine like this there are there's a lot of news going around right like the etf uh bitcoin etf approval by blackrock blah 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 all these things are going on in the background of crypto if if bitcoin breaks out with no specific reason there is always some form of reason that most market participants are not aware of but maybe a very small market participants maybe like blackrock these guys they are aware of it so that's why it's breaking out and then later once the news comes and everyone is positioned again everyone is aware of the positivity everyone is euphoric all the liquidity is in bitcoin from all the market participants then the only thing that can happen afterwards is one start selling bitcoin which drives the price down and then more and more people start selling bitcoin until we have the strong hands left the ones that are not selling around a specific level and then we have the people out the market participants outside of the market again and then we have a lot of liquidity on the sidelines waiting to get in again so that's why when everyone is bearish it's actually extremely bullish because we have a lot of liquidity on the sidelines that potentially can enter bitcoin if everyone is bullish we have to be bearish because there is no liquidity to enter the markets anymore all the market participants are already inside and the only thing that can happen is people start selling their bitcoin so guys i hope this really makes sense if you see a breakout on bitcoin without a valid reason it is more bullish than when you see a breakout with bitcoin because of the news etf approval or the stock to flow model in the in the uh, mainstream media so take that in advantage take that in mind guys it's very important uh, i hope i made myself clear with my dr pepper uh, i won't drink that because i don't think it's healthy anymore i'll stick to my raw milk if you guys like this video guys make sure to leave a thumbs up 
if you want to stay connected make sure to subscribe down below and yeah guys i wish every single one of you a beautiful day today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video